In this video, I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of Final Cut Pro keyboard shortcuts that I absolutely love and use every single day. I was able to come up with a list of over 50 keyboard shortcuts just off the top of my head. So if this video gets enough traction and likes, I will happily make a part two. The first keyboard shortcut is probably the most obvious and I'm sure pretty much everybody knows this one, but if you push B, that will give you the blade tool. But did you know you can actually hold down the B key then when you release it, it will go back to the original tool that you had. So in this example, I can push and hold the B key, click to create a cut, create another cut, then release, and now I have my arrow tool so that I can delete that singular clip. And this is actually true for all of the tools found in Final Cut Pro. For example, the range selection tool, which is achieved with R. I'll go ahead, click and hold that down, create a range selection, and then I can delete it, and we should be good to go. But what's even cooler with the range selection tool, I can push R, I'll go ahead, click to create a selection on a music or dialogue option and click on the volume and bring that down and that will automatically create these keyframes for me, thus ducking the audio. The third item on this list is the trim tool that can be achieved with T. Using the trim tool, you can easily click on a clip and slide it back and forth to whatever point you need. You can also select a cut point with the trim tool and slide that entire cut back and forth. And something that is super cool is if you push option with the trim tool, you can slide that entire clip on your timeline just like so. Next on this list, if you select a clip, you can push Control S to expand it and that will allow you to quickly create a J or an L cut by sliding out your audio elements. You can then select it again and push Control S and that will collapse it. But you can also push Control Option and S and this will expand all of your audio components. What that means is if you have an effects audio roll or a dialogue audio roll, you can see those individual individually and apply effects onto each one. You can also adjust the volume or just create a J or L cut with a singular roll. Next on this list is the fastest way to add your default title and that is achieved with Control T. You can set your default title by going up into your titles, finding the title that you want to set as your custom title, right clicking on it, then select make default title. You can also set your default lower third, which in this case is achieved with control shift T. In this instance, I've set it as my ProZooms plugin, which I use all of the time. Another handy keyboard shortcut is to select a clip and push command T to add in your default transition. You can also select just a specific cut point and push command T and that will do the exact same thing. Next on this list is to select a clip and push command six to get the default color inspector. That means you don't have to go through and add on a color wheels effect or color board effect. It'll automatically pop up here. And then when you make a change, that change will be applied inside of your video inspector, saving you that many more clicks. The eighth item on this list is to push shift T to get the transform tool rather than clicking on this icon. You can go ahead and slide around your clip wherever you need. You could scale it up just like so. Then when you're done, rather than going back and clicking on this transform tool, you can just push A and all of your changes will be saved. And something else I'd like to add is you can push shift C to get your crop tool so you can go ahead and slide these edges around as needed or quickly get to your Ken Burns tool. Next on this list is taking a look at the arrow keys. If you push forward on the arrow key, you'll advance one frame or if you push left on the arrow key, you'll go back one frame. Additionally, if you hold shift and push forward on the arrow key, you'll go forward 10 frames and shift and back arrow that will take you back 10 frames. You can also push up on the arrow key and that will take you back to the previous edit or down on the arrow key and that will take you up to the next edit point. In tandem with that is using the comma and period keys. If you go ahead and select an edit point, you can push comma to trim it back one frame or you can push period to extend it out one frame. Additionally, you can push shift comma or period to go ahead and trim it 10 frames or to extend it out 10 frames. And the next item on this list, if you have a clip that you want to disable, all you need to do is push V. It will still remain in the timeline, but it won't be affecting any of the underlying clips. And in tandem with that, if you have a specific audio clip that you want to solo, go ahead and select it, then push option S and you'll see everything else gets grayed out except for that one clip. And finally, of course you can zoom in with command plus or minus on your timeline, but you can also push the Z key and I recommend you hold it down so it goes back to the previous tool. Then just click and drag over the portion of the timeline that you want to zoom in on and that will automatically zoom in to fill up the entire timeline 
on your screen. If you want to zoom all the way out, you can push Shift Z and that will shrink everything down so your entire timeline fits in your window. It should also be noted that that works when you're in your viewer. If you need to zoom out, go ahead and push Shift Z and that will zoom everything to fit as it should be. So that was a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time in Final Cut Pro. Again, there are so many other keyboard shortcuts that I would happily share with you. If you want to see a part two, make sure you like this video. And if you enjoyed this video, then I have a strong feeling you're going to enjoy this video where I show you every single feature on the magnetic timeline. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.